hey what's going on guys so I just wanted to do this video here um, a lot of people who are getting into video editing and and shooting videos so usually when you start you usually find like a bunch of uh, free plugins but after a while you start realizing like oh the free plugins is kind of limited you know you can only have so many free plugins before you realize like you have to buy something you know so you're gonna start wondering where are the best websites that you can uh, buy like really good plugins and especially ones where you don't want to drop a lot of money but you need like a good beginner package or a good beginner uh, plugins to get you started uh, so I would say this is the best one right here after I have bought so many pixel film uh, uh, plugins I have a lot of them but uh, but this is probably the best one to start off with Leno uh, FX if you want to buy their package I think for 70 bucks you can buy like a mega pack and that would give you a bunch of different transitions and a bunch of different effects but um, if I had to start off with the very first one that I would buy most definitely it would be camera movements because usually if you're doing a YouTube video or you're doing some kind of talking head you want that push in that push out uh, zoom in zoom out uh, effect without you having to do keyframes and you having to do all sorts of other uh, manual processes off that so I would buy this first uh, for forty dollars you cannot go wrong with this camera movements one this is the best one that you could buy uh, to start off with uh, but another one if you wanted one pretty much the same or almost the same uh, is uh, pixel films so you can go to pixel film studios here and auto zoom would give you the same kind of effect but uh, auto zoom it has great zooming effects as well just uh, but I think Leno effects has a lot more and I can show you uh, what they have all right as you can see here this is uh, Leno FX uh, camera movements and as you can see here there's so many options with the camera movements uh, you have a custom one here I've never really used that so I don't know uh, what all you can do with it uh, but you have down to up left to right right to left up and down you have a two point here where it uh, goes to one area and then it goes to another area and then if you want it can uh, zoom back out to the regular original shot uh, this is three points right here one two and three depending on where you want to shoot uh, four points five points diagonal left to right diagonal uh, left to right diagonal uh, right to left all sorts of stuff you know you got a dolly movement horizontal horizontal slow shaking vertical vertical slow uh, zoom in zoom in blur zoom in and out and then uh, you have a zoom out zoom out with the blur uh, all sorts of stuff that you can do with this uh, this is probably the best one to start off with okay so I just showed you all the effects that the camera movements have on Leno effects and as and I showed you the uh, the pixel films one it's a little bit more limited um, it's just mainly just zooms compared to uh, Leno effects uh, but you know it uh, can get the job done you know so let's look at an example here so as you can see here um, I shoot weddings anywhere from like um, you know I think like maybe 30 weddings a year so let's look at this shot right here that I got so as you can see here it's gonna be a flat shot so I just held the camera steady and then when you play it that's what you get right there uh, just nice and steady so it's nothing special but once you add that Leno effects uh, let's choose the vertical here so if you choose the vertical um, you grab the vertical and you bring it over here so usually when it starts it starts from up to down but I chose it to go down to up so I turned on my uh, vertical slow because I already had it set up for you just so you can see um, you know uh, how it how it works here so I chose from it says top to bottom it's kind of confusing the, uh, the English on it is kind of confusing I don't know if it's Russians or Asians who are, who are making these but it's confusing it says top to bottom but when you look at here look it's going from bottom to up so everything's opposite so you can choose bottom to top but um, it's not it's opposite of the way it moves but does it do the job look at how it looks now so it went from just me holding it nice and steady to it going from bottom to top and now it gives it a little bit more dynamic look to it now it makes it look uh, better you know and then of course if you add some glowing effects to it now you got some a little bit of sunlight coming through the window 
fake sunlight coming through. So as you can see here, and then let's look at it again here. I disabled the vertical from Leno FX. And look here, it's just a nice steady shot, you know? But if I turn it back on, goes from bottom to top. Look at that, nice and clean right there. Okay, so let's look at another example. All right, so here's another wedding that I shot here. And let's disable this so you can see exactly how this moves with just the original shot. So as you can see here, look at that. So I just pushed in just a little bit on her shot right here. So as you can see here, I just pushed in the gimbal, you know? I just did a push in on the gimbal, but if I wanted to, now I use Leno FX and I use that vertical thing again. And watch what it does now. So now it pushes in and it pushes up. So now it gives it a really cool effect. You see that? Nice and up. Yeah. So it pushes in and up. So the original shot was it only pushed in. And then now I uh, put Leno effects on there with the vertical. And then it goes from bottom to up. So that gives it a little bit more dynamic uh, feel to it. Okay, so um, so let's look at this next example here. Uh, this is a three point one right here. As you can see here, it says three point. So it's gonna like uh, you know you choose wherever direction you want it to go to. It can zoom in, it can zoom out. It could uh, you know go to the left, go to the right. It's up to you. But as you can see here, it um, so this is a, if I turn this off, this is how it looks right here. Okay. Right. So While he's dancing. Right there. Let's watch it again. Alright. So now if I turn on the three points, alright, now do you get a little bit more dynamic feel to it. So, you know, I just showed you a few examples of what you can do with these camera movements, but I'm very sure that you're uh, most likely you're sitting at your desk or sitting in your room. And sometimes, you know, you want that push in or a zoom out or whatever like that. And this is where you get it from is these camera movements plug in. So uh, this is the best way to do it. So let's um, so let's do another example. So let's go through this example of uh, zooming in. So let's say you're doing this talking head type of thing right here. So let's find a good spot where it needs some zoom in, right? All right, so let's say you wanna use the zoom in effect. So uh, I prefer the Pixel Film Studios one. Uh, this one works so much better. So let's say you're doing one of those talking heads where you're at your desk or you're at your in your room or whatever like that. So uh, so let's look at how this works here. So I put in the zoom in effect right here on top uh, from Pixel Films. So let's look at it here. So look at that. So that's the zoom right there, uh, depending on the uh, intensity you want. So I chose like 140 zoom uh, amount. Uh, 100 is the original, and then 140 is the uh, zoom in amount. And then you can choose uh, how fast it zooms in. You can choose like 0 0.05 for a quicker punch. Some people like that quicker punch, so let's do 0 0.05 uh, seconds here. So let's look at that. See, you see how that zoomed in right there? And then of course, you know, if you don't want that that blur effect, you can turn that off or reduce the, the blur on there. But I don't want, um, let's say defocus zoom here. I really don't care for that blur effect. I just wanted to zoom like, yeah, so it zoomed in right there. So let's, uh, so let's give it a triple zoom effect. So that's what a lot of y'all be seeing on YouTube when people talk and they do a double zoom or a triple zoom. So let's move this to uh, 120. Let's do 125 here. Okay. And then I'm gonna copy this. So I have the same kind of zoom in speed and then I'm gonna change this to, uh, so let's say uh, 145, okay. And then I'll copy it, well, and then I'll just drop another one in here, okay? Okay, let's move this, make it quicker so you can see that, that zoom in a little bit faster here. All right, so pop in, and then that should pop in again, and then that should pop in right there. So let's go pop in, pop in again, and pop in again. 
So as you can see here, I know that's not the best example because of how, how zoomed in I am, but you can kind of get the idea. So as you can see here, you just have to play around with it to get that punch in look that you're looking for. And then of course there's zoom out as well, um, but it's gonna automatically zoom back, back out to normal. Uh, you know, when this is, when this uh, transition clears here. All right, so when it ends, it just goes back to normal. Watch this here. All right, there you go. There's normal uh, when when this ends here. So um, those are a few examples I wanted to show you just to give you uh, some ideas of, oh, okay, if I buy these camera movements or these uh, zoom effects or plugins, it can really increase your productivity on um, on making these camera movements so much easier for you rather than you, you manually key uh, framing your zoom ins and your zoom outs or whatever. And it, it, I think it will help you a lot. But anyways, that's all I got for you. Leno FX and Pixel Film Studios are your best friends. Once you get past the point of all those freebies out there, you're gonna eventually have to buy some uh, decent plugins. Um, and then after that, if you want, you can do uh, motion VFX or any of that other stuff out there. But, um, but anyways, see ya.